Alright, let's try this again. Because I've got the mic on and I'm now actually just recording and just the streaming. Uh, in the last, um, uh, this afternoon, um, I filled in some of Kieran Echo's information stuff, which had previously been basically completely empty, uh, and, uh, added stuff to the uh, Corneco route and I'm gonna, I'm gonna play through what I already have and, and we can continue. I plan to add um, stuff to the Alley route today uh, among other things depending on what I get to.
I gotta find appropriate background music for the uh, clone rock, which I thought I had, but I don't. My hand's all cramped up, so I don't think that I'm going to be uh, doing any more thinking tonight. Although, this clone room thing came out a lot better than I was expecting.
that all the putting all the potentially useful stuff in the repo and then I'll figure out what I didn't use pull it out I guess
here is what's going to happen. I am going to read this and you are going to listen. Present day computers are designed primarily to solve preformulated problems or to process data according to predetermined procedures. The course of the computation may be conditional upon results obtained during the computation, but all the alternatives must be foreseen in advance. The requirement for preformulation or predetermination is sometimes no great disadvantage. If the user can think it here is the situationist term determined and the parallel idea of breakage the taking of the products of capitalism and interdicting them, remaking them to serve people rather than become the trinkets to be worshipped and sought. Oh, you should never, never doubt what nobody is sure about. Oh, you should Secretary, never, never doubt your what Dolans, dolly, dolly, dolans, dollop, dolly, dolmen, dolmen, dolphin, dolphins, dolson, dolton, dumen, domung, don, big, domek, domer, domen, doming, donmer, don, me, donter, dona, donel, doner, donut, doneth, doner. In that mad flash have seared our lives with eye. It blazed great God, but the vast sh.
way back.
our military coherence, in spite of her This information has been suppressed, but now it can be told. Was an engineered blandness, a well-constructed picket fence, a Ford Aerostar, an overwhelming urge to purchase bigger and better goods, a primate wonderland.
and I don't think I'm getting any more out of it. <sighs> So John, you're in the Twitch chat now. Can you actually hear me when I talk? There should be a several second delay. In theory, the microphone's on, but I, I turned it down a little bit. Yes, so to no. We'll turn it up again. Testing one, two, testing. Hello, can you hear me? I know my microphone is responding, so... Anyhow, uh, let's try to remember... what fucking... thing I was going to use for the... clones. It's this one. I dug my own bed by writing a song called Dickless Whore. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, I had it down low because um, I thought that uh, my computer um, uh, fan was too loud. But I wasn't, I wasn't sure if it was too low. Um, so I've been busy talking, and apparently the mic has not been, or, or the stream has not been picking it up. Let me push and I'll do a walkthrough of the game because uh, nobody's been watching the stream, so <laughs> uh, I've done partial walkthroughs of the whole game several times, but um, 
nobody's been able to give me feedback because I've been alone on the stream. Uh, so, um, I'm specifically interested in making sure that the, uh, that the, um, new, uh, text boxes look good, uh, that the music seems generally appropriate, uh, you know, that kind of stuff, um, I've got some places where I want to redo um, text, but an all-nighter is not the appropriate uh, place to be trying to do creative writing, editing kinds of things. Uh, So I'll, I'll go through and then I'll also uh, quickly show off all the um, all the images that that a basic run through won't won't show uh, the images that haven't been been used yet but have been created or um, uh, you know things like that because uh, I'm proud of some of that stuff. I may change this as I must properly ran up a slit. Okay. Okay, good, good. Um, I'm just linting now, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make sure that the game will actually run. That I didn't make a, a horrible typo somewhere. Uh, yep, uh, looks fine. Okay. So since this is for your benefit, do you want me to um, uh, skip to the second iteration? Because you've already seen the first one. It doesn't appear in my browser. Uh, the lint output goes to um, the editor, um, and they they ship. Um, well, they don't ship, but they allow you to download a, a Java base editor. Uh, I I have, but not very much. Um, not in uh, ways that'll stand out other than the um, other than the text box pattern and stuff, which we'll, you'll see anyway. Okay. Yeah, it's, um, it's some weird, uh, Java editor, because they, they'll let you use Notepad, but they want to integrate the editor, so they, they prefer to give you either this edit draw thing, or, um, I think JEdit or something. Um, Yeah, so, okay, let's go.
yeah, it's not that it has uh, a couple useful features. Um, like it'll show white first. Uh, yeah. I have some new new materials that I'm not going to go through right now. Uh, in part because it, um, it doesn't actually cover as much as I'd like it. Alright, so I'm going to do the stuff out first.
so this dialogue here um, opened up so now we can Um, overbearingness is absolutely um, intentional. Uh, she's way over the top because uh, she's uh, beyond dare. Uh, it's supposed to be borderline creepy and also annoying. Um, but I agree that in that early scene, because we go through it so many times, uh, probably it needs to be a little less uh, extreme. She isn't. She isn't aware of the time loop, so um, she's gonna do whatever she does um, every time, uh, unless we make eye like interrupt or something, which I could do. Uh, I, I could make eye cut her off. No, I'm not up to key part pad. This is Koneko's arc. Uh, this is an Aoi's arc. Um, so this is a different, um, uh, ethically dubious government-funded facility. This is the one that does, um, it's a, this military thing, uh, does research on, uh, Psychic warfare. Well, uh, psychic espionage. I do have um, all the art ready for. Uh, If I don't click make a concerted effort to focus 
this time I'll, I'll get filmed. So that was the big fun that far. that I've done so uh, far, uh, and now I'm going to do the which isn't much. Yeah, I'm just too far away from the mic. All of the stuff I've done for Apple's problem. Actual stress, which is funny because uh, it was with the story that I came up with first, uh, and yet somehow I kind of want to make that. two things and they're mostly the same. complicated and uh just about but now 
I've done the art for it, and I'm not so daunted. So, um, I was planning on just not sure if I will, or if it'll, um, Apparently, Google is listening. Um, okay, so, um, I've done most of the flags in terms of the stuff that Shiraneko can... Um, actually, I'm going to back up a little bit. So, this is for your three that to make it tight. Yeah. Lead. And probably this one, too. That song is one of the ones I did most recently, uh, which is funny. Uh, I, I've tried to stick with stuff that isn't in that style, uh, which is to say that isn't written note by note using my synthesis software. Uh, As you can see, the kanji here uh, on the door is is not, is not remotely right. For food, <laughs> yeah.
Alright, which one of these did I implement? Uh, I'll do this. But you see, she's running like haiku, and she has a seashell prompt and a, a born shell prompt. And she has the same basketball mouse as we do. She has a, a full scale keyboard, which most people don't have anymore. She has two towers. Uh, and a Daki Makara, which I need to redraw. Uh, and um, she's drinking an energy drink, you can tell because it's too tall. And their trash is overflowing, and here are all the printouts uh, from school when she's been skipping school, and she she sits on a bean. Oh shit! Okay. Oh no, I fuck up. Leave Fukino residence. It's funny that Lint didn't pick that up. So she's our type, I guess. Actually, I'm not sure that that's true. I never, I never dated a ha another hacker. Maybe it wouldn't work out. <laughs> Make a note. Somehow we jump to Mecca's pool, which is wrong. I need to add in, um, I'll do it before I forget. Yeah, uh, and, and most of the time they reload automatically. Sometimes they don't. Uh, but yeah, when they're... Um, 
there's a and also when music is oh that was that didn't work I think it, when you do things in this in row uh omit that you wouldn't have from that had to be There we go. That's what I wanted. Alright, we've basically play in the game now. Um show off the um, the images for stuff that I haven't put in yet uh, and explain some of what they are. So uh, can I turn this to a slideshow? You uh... oh. uh, I guess we can't do slideshows anymore. <laughs> Wasn't that um, a feature of like XP? Uh, okay. I do it here. I open where I can preview, right? Preview. That's. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, let's go through the sprites in order, and... <laughs> oh, I've got... Alright, so this is eventually going to be used when she stabs you. Uh, and she's got a scalpel. And I'm realizing the scalpel when it's made appropriate size is not terribly impressive so I'm thinking maybe that should be a machete instead or something uh, you've seen this right uh, you've seen that right you've seen this one okay you haven't seen that uh, so actually go here. Okay, uh, this is the uh, front entrance to Yomiyama Polytechnic, which is where the clone lab is. Uh, and I have variations, like this is the... I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but it looks very pretty. And then, I don't have a nighttime scene where we go here, but I could because this looks great. Uh, like, this looks better than the daytime one. Um, so, alright, here's the alarm panel. Yeah, I tried to make it washed out, and I didn't succeed at making it washed out as much as I had like. But, at the same time, uh, it has this... It has more color than the whole rest of the game. 
except for the blood scenes, which makes you kind of think, oh, there's something going on here, I guess. I don't know. Um, an actual artist is going to come in and redo really everything, and, and uh, I'll take their uh, word for it. Um, but I, I've drawn the, the door panel here, and then here's the... Um, Here's the security desk. Uh, see, there's a no smoking sign on the pillar behind which the guard is hidden smoking. Uh, and there's um, there's the elevator in the background. Uh, I think actually I'm gonna have the person I'm gonna have I hide behind the desk because I didn't want to draw a second pillar. And it would just be sort of too cartoony for her to hide behind the same pillar as the security guide is hiding. The security guard is hiding behind. Okay. So... Black. Black, you see this. Classroom night. With a Yomiyama. <laughs> Behind the moon, behind the full moon, uh, and you know it's it's the last day of April, and there's um, there's a gathering over here of of lights in a circle. So what's going on there? And the daytime. Uh, okay. All right, here's the clone rack. Uh, it came out better than I, ex I was expecting. Uh, her tits are lopsided, but uh, I, I think this is the first time I've drawn, I've ever drawn bare breasts. So the fact that they came out this well at all is is great. Um, Got this little monitor thing. She's hooked up. She's got um a uh, catheter and uh, you know tubes for excretion. She's got breathing apparatus. Originally, this is going to be a feeding tube, uh, and then I drew her lips, and I liked the lips, so I kept the lips. Uh, She's got an EEG cap here, and EKG heart monitor, and she's being fed through um, intravenous, which is not real, not realistic. She would need a feeding tube if she was, you know, the, the idea is that this person has been here in this thing uh, for like more than ten years. Uh, and I also didn't draw the electrodes that are supposed to, to periodically shock her muscles to make her twitch to exercise the muscles. But maybe I'll instead say that the uh, EEG cap uh, will feed back electricity into the scalp to cause a seizure and that's what's exercising the muscles, I don't know. Or maybe I'll just draw in, um, draw in, uh, uh, galvanic needles later. Alright, you've seen this, you've seen that. Uh, it's just the hallway at night. I oh uh, I think the hallway at night is used in the Kodeko route there's a lot of stuff uh, I think I just screwed up the thing uh, I, I didn't add a pause, so we're never seeing the hallway at night.
for a daytime uh, interrogation room an echo who really doesn't have much facial expression uh, you've seen that you've seen that uh, well you've seen these two but uh, I started off with this one and then I inverted it that central dogma and terminal in the other direction so you know even galleon references uh, Okay, so you can't see this collapsed dead body with his um, with his legs bent in the wrong directions uh, very well during the scene uh, in which you actually see this uh, because the the uh, dialogue box, the text box, is covering it up. But that's okay because that's like the shittiest thing in this whole drawing. Um, I, I I've got blood dripping from the the one uh, ceiling light fixture that's still working. <clears throat> okay, and you see that? You see that? I probably need to redo the the grapple here because this is that's like. Even by the standards of, even by the standards of of uh, the rest of the art in this game, this gravel or shit. Um, this sign, by the way, um, uh, what you see here, what you hear here, let it stay here. That's the same as a sign by the Manhattan Project building. So, there's that. Uh, oh, I'm also not sure if this shrub is actually recognizable as a shrub. Okay, Mimi is... I don't think I ever used that picture of her. Her whole thing needs to be redone. Um... Okay. Alright, and this is the last... I think this is the last thing that you haven't seen at all. Um, so this is... Uh, the uh, Lodge. Um, and so the normal pattern with the Masonic Lodge is you've got the black and white tiled floor. You've got an altar down here. Uh, and then you've got the two pillars, but usually the one on the left is a globe of the earth, and the one on the right is, uh, I think, a star globe. Um, but here instead, the one on the left is uh, a star globe containing uh, the constellation Orion. And the one on the right is just white representing the sun. And then instead of an altar, you've got um, uh, in a pipe organ. Uh, and this probably doesn't look very much like a real pipe organ. Uh, anybody who actually plays a pipe organ will probably knock me for that, but whatever. You know how many pipes there fucking are here. I cheated a lot. I think I drew like four pipes. And then the rest are copies that have been modified. But, um, even that was more effort than I really wanted to put into this. Okay, you saw that. Saw this. This really needs to be redone. Uh, this does not really need to be redone. This looks a lot better than it needs to. Um, maybe not the diagram. Maybe I need to redo the diagram. But I, I was impressed with how well the text came out. Uh, and if you read the text, you'll get uh, spoilers for the story. Okay, science room. Okay. Oh yeah, you never saw this. 
um, this is actually in the game. Uh, if you go to see uh, Kuroneko in the music room twice, uh, and then you go to see Mimi, you can ask Mimi about things you saw in her books. You draw this and show it to her. Okay, you saw this. Saw this. But I'm, I'm very happy with how well this came out. Even though it looks more like a guitar than a violin. This needs to be redrawn because... I did not get permission for this band. Okay, and that's everything. <laughs> yeah, I was going, um... I, I was going for the, um, overcomplicated organ like you see in a lot of anime where you have, like, a music-themed villain. He'll, ha he'll have a, um, a, a gigantic, overcomplicated pipe organ. And the pipe organ will, I don't know, do something other than play music. Uh, I was sort of going for that, but I ran out of space up top, and I didn't want to uh, have to redraw everything. So, I made it shorter. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the fingers on the violin, I, I actually didn't, I wish I had recorded, um, myself drawing these, um, because I, it actually didn't take all that long, and the, the thing is, I, I, um, I drew them all independently, uh, and they're not very well aligned with what a hand would do, but that's justified by the story, because she's trying to do an awkward thing, uh, so I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna talk about, um, uh, Easter eggs, um, that already exist here. Uh, not that, not that this game is necessarily worth having Easter eggs yet. Um, but, Okay, so the logo is sort of a combination of all the conspiracies. Um, you've got the cross with the snake around it, which represents the, the clone on the cross covered with tubes and wires. But the snake is also present in the logo for the... Um, the uh, um, for the the psi uh, the, the military um, psi program um, as an Ouroboros um, okay and then the six circles are part of the logo for the Scriabin worshiping cult and if you read the letters in the six circles, this is uh, the Promethean scale. Uh, if you, so if you play all six at the same time, uh, that's, the, that's the mystic chord, and that's what the recording of Kuro Neko is just me trying to play the mystic chord on a little synth and failing. Um, but, um, Scriabin, uh, th there's, like, this, this idea, which is not actually true, but is widespread, that Scriabin wrote everything in the Promethean scale 
and that that was sort of his his thing and that it had it's true that he considered it to have like mystical uh significance and it's not true that he wrote everything in it um but in in this story the idea is that uh this um screw had been worshiping cult the oss uh, uh has applies mystical significance to the uh, the Promethean scale in the mystic chord and that this is a big part of their ritual. Uh, so and then um, the quote underneath is uh, a line from the poem to ecstasy, which is another Scriabin composition that was based on anthroposophy, and it translates to damn my French is not is not existent anymore. Um, Something to something of life. Uh, like forces of life, I give you audacity. I'd have I'd have to double check. So um. Yeah, that, that exists. hallway visible to even show the hallway. Okay, so that should be closer to correct. What's meant to make sure I didn't misspell anything? Yeah, um, Uh, the great thing about uh, conspiracy theory based stories is you can throw stuff at the wall and you can uh, treat every coincidence as a hidden intention. <laughs> yes. Um. These aren't even my favorite obscure occult references. Uh, I, I have better ones. Um, these are just a, a few that came to mind and were convenient. Thank you. 
Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, uh, so you wanted the choices to be Uh, more visible, right? I think that's done by idle background. Let, let's queue up to a place where we're right about to place. Hotel. Scientists are planning to explain the freak showers of tiny cubes of ice. Please be safe. And back out the main menu. As for all the others. I don't think it's un unwell. I don't think it's good. Um, oh, it's like a That is not better. That is not better. Okay. Uh...
that is not correct. Now the borders are more visible.
Paulo também. Maybe I'll use a little gold, because I've got a little bit of gold color in the, um, in the logo. Uh, I want to keep color to a minimum sort of everywhere in the skin. I think that looks a lot better. It is late. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to implement um, 
supplement hour tonight. Oh, um, I've defined a character for uh, a UFO cultist. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to draw her. And uh, I know she's going to um, appear in the course story showing up after lunch. Uh, where is lunch? Lunch is here. Uh, okay. So, lunch ends here. And I say the rest of the day came and went without incident. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to fill in the rest of the classes. Um, She comes in after lunch, and this is going to be like a big deal because she's real late, uh, and yet she's not the kind of person who would, you know, just not show up and blow off classes. So, uh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to handle that. Well, um, if you come up with something, uh, let me know. Um, I, I'm, I mean, the, the, the pious girl is sort of a stock character, uh, and, and the twist here is she's not Catholic, but instead she's, like, part of a pseudo realian UFO cult. Uh, I don't know exactly what's... Maybe it's going to be a, a suicide cult, or maybe it's going to be like a... They're just... Uh, extracting too much labor from her or something, I don't know. Um, <laughs> the, the UFO cultist is into, is into retro 70s, 80s fashion, big hair. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not opposed to having a, 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 a retro big haired character. Um, I, I was trying to go for, oh Jesus, I can't even remember the name of a, a character like that. They're so forgettable. Um, uh, there's somebody like that. Well, there's somebody like that in High School DxD. I don't think you've seen that, though. Um, oh, I'm sure you've seen... Usually they're, like, young nuns. You've seen characters like this. They're either young nuns or they're... They're schoolgirls, but they're Catholic and they're overly religious. So they'll... Like, it's a trope. They'll... So something will happen, and they'll pray, uh, like they'll clasp their hands and pray, and the, they'll, like, 
shine with light as like um uh as as like an indication that they're pure and holy or something. But usually the twist is actually their sundere or something. Or or actually their uh in high school DXD is actually that actually she was working for really corrupt church officials that were taking orders from uh, from um, uh, fallen angels and then she became a demon um, in My Hero Academia, there's a, a character like that, and, and the twist with her is that her hair is thorns. So she can grow uh, like, a, like a cage of thorns around somebody. Trainee num nuns exist in real life. Uh, uh, they're, they're a thing that exists. Um, I, I mean, it's usually, it's not trainees, it's junior nuns, but yeah, that's a thing that exists. Uh, yeah, so you recognize the trope, you, you understand what it is I'm going for, I, I guess. Uh, I want that, except the twist is, it's not, she's not Catholic or even pseudo-Catholic. Um, but instead, she's like a part of a, a, a cult that nobody respects. Yeah, okay. I, I, in Japan, I don't think they're... I don't think they have that level of, they expect that level of nuance. Uh, you know, Christians are very rare in Japan. I, I think if you have a nun in anime and they're not, not wearing a habit, nobody will know they're a nun. The thing is, if if it were a suicide cult thing, uh, she wouldn't show up to school at all, and that would be a very different story. We couldn't introduce her in the first arc. She'd just be like Koneko, somebody who's mentioned and never shows up until later, and that doesn't that doesn't quite work with Koneko, I don't think. Uh, you, you can tell me whether or not it works with Koneko. I, I had that idea of, of forcing the idea that, that I has, uh, like, um, an irrational Moe-based affection for Koneko. Uh, you can tell me whether or not you think that's, that's necessary. Um, uh, if um, if, if they're just working her too hard, or, like, extorting money from her or something, then it's a little too much like the, the Yakuza thing, uh, which I haven't worked out the details of, but that's going to be the driving, that, that's gonna somehow affect all of the Fujinomiya sisters. Uh, their family can't afford to uh, make them go to, 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 to get them into Yukioma Girls Academy. Uh, so they took a, a loan from a Yakuza loan shark and now, you know, Kuro, at the very least Kuro Neko is doing what she's doing for money to pay off the mob. 
uh, Koneko might also be doing what, might also have started doing what she's doing in order to pay off the mob. Uh, Shiro Neko, I think, is not aware of what's going on. Um, so I don't want to go too close to that. Um, but maybe it's like um, the leader is saying, oh, there's going to be a, an apocalypse and you all have to do this and that and, you know, do special rituals to save off the apocalypse and little does he know the apocalypse is actually coming in six different ways in the same town uh, but not related to the aliens that he pretends to worship because he as a cult leader he's not he's not a true believer himself he's he doesn't believe in aliens even though there's evidence of aliens elsewhere in the town Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Um, and now, the Koneko thing has telepathic aliens, and that's why, I've, that's why nobody can think in there, uh, is they made contact with the aliens. It, uh, this is actually um, covered in a, a Shiro Neko um, explanation she hacked into the thing um so all right here we go uh and okay they're building on some of the weirder ideas from project stargate specifically telepathically contact the aliens from other dimensions asking them to look into the future or the past so um that gate opened up because the people in this facility are contacting aliens from another dimension telepathically twice a day for decades in order to get information, like spy information, uh, and uh, that contact, because it's so persistent, has sort of allowed the aliens to, to triangulate the position of our universe and, and come through and eat us. Um, so maybe, although she isn't involved in this these experiments or this facility, she has a slightly higher than average uh, level of psychic sensitivity so she worships the aliens, and she has a connection to them, and they're like the voice of God in her head. Yeah, may maybe... So there's definitely going to be two different kinds of aliens, because the, the... The, the, um... The squid ones, uh, are not squids, uh, but they have tentacles. The ones with tentacles are, are the telepaths. They're, they're from a different universe, so it's not just that they are shaped funny for animals, they're shaped funny for our physics. So I'm thinking like squat things on six legs with like jutting append appendages with multiple mouths and the mouths open up and there are tentacles that are basically hoses. Uh, so those are the telepaths. And then there's something else that Shiro Neko has stumbled upon. I haven't quite figured out what the what the alien text she stumbled upon is going to be. Um, I'm thinking because the Cthuloids are already manipulating the military, it makes sense if we're only going to have two kinds. 
it makes sense for uh, Misa to um, worship those. But maybe she doesn't know that she's worshipping those. Maybe she has a connection to those, but the view of aliens uh, taken by the cult leader is very different. Um, so she's there's sort of a bait and switch. Um, a lot of alien, uh, a lot of UFO cults um, have this weird racial element, and so like they have like the whole Nordic aliens thing. Uh, Space Brothers, so uh, maybe I'll do that for the cult, um, because that's an easy, that's an easy way to kind of invoke uh, weird Nazi-ish ideas implicitly and make something that is very hippie, flower powery on the surface seems slightly, um, uh, slightly more, um, uh, frightening. Uh, so, so I think I'll probably do that, um, but maybe the, maybe the alien tech comes from Grays, because that was going to be crash tech, and the ones from outside the universe, they don't, they're not going to use spacecraft, they're going to, you know, they're going to open up an interdimensional rift and, and jump through hyperspace, they're not going to, they're not going to bother with machinery. Um, so, um, yeah, those could be grades, or they could be something else. Um, maybe instead of Graves, I'll go with the the other archetype that keeps showing up, which is hairy blue dwarves. Only like UFO geeks are going to recognize that the hairy blue dwarves are a thing in UFO lore. Um, and that those people will will like look at the look at the game and say, Hey, I'm so glad they didn't fucking do grays. Because everybody knows grays. Um, And it would be, it'd be slightly more in line with the kind of, uh, it'd be slightly more in line with the tone, uh, than doing something slightly more, uh, uh, slightly more fringed, like, um, like going back to the, uh, 1897 UFO flap where, uh, all the, um, all the reports are of airships and all the, um, all the, all the airship captains are, uh, uh, big burly men with, with, uh, handlebar mustaches, uh, who claim to be from Ohio. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'll do blue dwarves. For, for one thing, blue dwarves are, are less often uh, drawn. Uh, uh, they don't show up as much, so there isn't like a, um, as clear of a, a sense of what they're supposed to look like. So if I draw them and I fuck up, I can say that I did them intentionally. Uh, nobody will know. <clears throat> Uh, 
Yeah, okay, so... Uh, let's... Let's add that note to the alien tech thing. Uh... Aliens are blue dwarves. Okay. Um, they don't have portal tech because they crashed, but I don't. Um, I don't know what kind of tech they could have that would be really. Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, extremely low power mass energy conversion? Uh, yeah, um, uh, Maybe that'll, yeah, maybe the airships will be a later game, um, or an omake. <laughs> Do I want to unlock omake when you finish this game and, and have all of the, the, all of the weirder stuff, um, flotilla of airships, uh, containing uh, burly men straight out of the 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 late nineteenth century, uh, offering you um, whole wheat pancakes. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of room for that, you know. Br bring in frog falls, bring in whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I I don't want to quite go into Rick and Morty territory because I cannot compete with Rick and Morty. Um, uh, that's just never going to happen. Um, but uh, in Omake is is a good place to put the weirder fourteen stuff uh, that that would just that would interfere with the the. Um, horror tone of this. So... Ma mass energy conversion is not weird enough. We need some weird yet useful alien tech uh, that the military would be interested in, but that people haven't written about. The alien tech needs to be alien. So I... Yeah, no, I'd, I'd, I'd unlock in a... I, I'd have a... Um, an unlockable thing where if you beat the game you can do a joke route. Yeah, alien tech that's truly alien. Uh, maybe I can run through my um, story idea list and, and see if there's any 
there's anything that Because I've got s ideas about alien weapons that are really exotic, but generally they're based on teleportation. We don't want to do teleportation because um, that would that that would ruin the idea that there's um that they have shit. I see the bananas idea. Okay, there we go. Da, da, da. Um, so many things about language learning in my story ideas. Um, uh, She was a uh, communication tag. Okay. Oh god, the story ideas list. I have so many other, um... <laughs> Ships made of wood. Uh, <laughs> um... No, Ships made of wood is not... Maybe we could... Yeah, biotech is a... Maybe we could go with that. Um, yeah, uh... It could be a Paul Lapley thing. Uh, he had this idea of, like... You'd make a... Kind of a tunnel... 
between the earth and the moon and you'd fill it with you grow special vines in it and then eventually the vines would become the tunnel and then you'd have a a, a growing like a, a living tunnel between the earth and the moon and the moon would be covered with vines and he had all these ideas about about living spaceships that were plants so um uh yeah te tech for tech for growing spaceships from seeds uh, uh complete with um complete with uh uh near light speed propulsion uh, uh, solar sails that are leaves um <laughs> uh yeah solar sails that are le leaves and uh The flowers that uh, whose pollen will will put you into cryo sleep. Maybe not cryo sleep. Oh God. Well, I don't want to do wormholes because because they crashed a ship. Uh, um. Unless unless they don't have control over the wormhole position like they find naturally occurring wormholes and grow the plant to keep it open or, or they find black holes and uh, the plant I don't know enough about black holes to be able to... I, I think if I was trying to deal with black holes, um, I, I, would make a, I would make huge mistakes and, and that wouldn't work. Um, Yeah, uh, uh, unpredictable wormhole tech kind of makes that makes that fit. But I I want to I want to make it real clear that these two aliens, these two types of aliens are not the same. That they're that they're not working on the same tech. Uh, Yeah, okay. Um yeah, I like that. Uh, um uh, p plants that that um have um plants that make uh travel slightly faster than light speed possible because they contain a uh, uh, super massive mineral deposits or something. Uh that 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 they, um, they make it super dense, uh, they, they have super dense bits, uh, maybe they, they, they make neutronium nodules or something, uh, uh, and, and so they, they can, um, they, they can then, uh, uh, bend space around the moving ship. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your tech is related to kinetic 
engineering plants that grow into spaceships. We need the goal of going slightly faster than flight speed by a combination of super efficient solar cell and chromium nodules and, and super dense neutronium nodules that bend space in particular. There we go. And how I'm going to turn that into a bunch of dialogue, I don't know. <clears throat> but that's a start. I'm, I'm a lot further along there than I thought I was. Okay, so I will. Where is course? Uh, this is gonna be okay. So got. Oops. So Lisa's notes. Oh, Misa is, because it's going to be like Misato, Misa being last. <clears throat> so she's Umeji, Umeji Misa. Uh, maybe I need to fix her last name to be something more... Um, more meaningful. This is like, what? Pickled Shrine? Mass? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll have, I'll have diagrams because it's going to be like Shiro Neko hacked into the facility. <laughs> I, should I make it Masato? Because Masato is closer to what I actually want. It is... Masato is always going to be tied into Evangelion, but maybe Death Note uh, hangs heavier in the consciousness. Well, I wanted to call her Masato, and I felt like that was going to be too obvious, because I already have an Akagi. Uh, but... If Misa is... So Masato, in terms of meaning, is much closer to what I want. Like, maybe Misa doesn't even mean mass. Maybe nobody would even make that connection. You've actually seen Death Note 
you're more on the pulse of, uh, I guess, anime fans ten years ago. What do you think? I think her, I think her first name is spelled in Hiragana. Oh. Maybe I'll, I'll go through, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go through some list of, uh, list of Japanese first name meanings. Oh yeah, because it's a loan word. Of course it's katakana. Jeez. Oh, um, I, I mean, I'm going light on the name meanings for the newer characters. Yamada Mimi. Yamada is just, like, the most fucking generic surname. <laughs> and, and then, uh, Mimi, well, uh, that, that part's meaningful, uh, because she's the journalist person, so she's all ears. Uh, uh, e even though her thing is being very visual, but, you know, I can be me instead of meh in, in some co combinations. Uh, so, yeah, that was, that was the, uh, that was the rationale. <laughs> Okay, uh, what else is, uh, I don't know, I guess that's that. Let's see if that's... Yeah, it, 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 it sounds like a little... It, it's got the right meaning. <laughs> All right. Um. I'm recording this for YouTube, and uh, I suspect that the the file has gotten very large. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it off and, and start that upload uh, and uh, uh, quit working on this for the night. Um, I made a lot of progress, thank God. Uh,
so, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. And everybody watching on YouTube, if you're annoyed by listening to a one-sided conversation, uh, well, actually watch the stream in real time. <laughs>